beloved the time has come for the oracle of God to dispense to us that which God have given him to give us this oracle have been working very hard pushing and promulgating the work of almighty God man that I've known for over 30 years now he has never changed he has a passion for the work of almighty God he has been leading the apostolic network to the best of his ability I invite you now to put your hands together while I make welcome to the microphone at this time our own Bishop Dr. Gigi Cooper in care of the Holy Ghost. Pastor Smiley, Pastor Henningham and his dear wife. If you know this, both of them can pray. Don't marry a woman that can't pray. Don't marry a man that can't pray. Mm hmm. You're quiet on me now. Both of them can pray. And we thank God for that prayer, all those prayers that went forth tonight. I'm in the promised land. Some of you don't know you're in the promised land. Took us three and a half hours non nonstop to get to the promised land. <laughs> and you better be right. Your documents have to be right. And make sure you're not carrying anything illegal. Money is here. Jobs are here. Opportunities are here. Status are here. Everything you need is in the promised land. In case you don't understand what I'm saying, like Canada, America, London, Germany, Bahamas, Cayman, all of those are industrial countries with opportunities and achievements and when you go as your sister said to me yesterday he said if you I remember what you said to me Bishop years ago if you come into America are you hearing me if you come into America and you don't make it pack your bag and go to Colombia Nicaragua, Botswana, you'll never make it in your life again. So tonight I say humbly, if you come to America and can't make it, don't make it. Come back home to me. Let me re-educate your mind. This is the promised land. God bless all my ministers tonight. All the men of God, my musicians, they're always precious and dear to me. Turn over your watch. I'm not responsible for taking me here. I just got to cut everything tonight. Slice it, chop it, mince it, and turn you loose to go home. Catch a little sleep. God bless you. We love you tonight. We appreciate, we appreciate you dearly tonight for being here. You're so precious. Every one of you are precious. Tell yourself first, I'm a child of purpose. Gigi, you're a, call your name and say, Gigi, you call your name. I'm a child of purpose. Then secondly, tell yourself, I'm valuable to God. Brother Charlie, if nobody recognize your value, you're valuable to God. You're a child of purpose. And thirdly, you're a child of destiny. Good God, oh, you can be child. I'm a child of destiny. Greet all my partners and friends online tonight. God bless you and thank you for being there and here. And we pray tonight, bless my 
precious, precious wife who is with me tonight. God bless you. And you know why we haven't been here for a couple of years? Well, we traveled on the world. During COVID, we were able to keep you occupied. We were are the only one they tell me broadcasting. We broadcast right through COVID every day, every night. Come on, somebody. We were an assignment traveling in the word. And remember, God gave us a prophetic word from Joshua 6. Fear not, you shall not die. Come on, somebody. Fear not, you shall not die. I've never seen that before, but God gave me during COVID. And we ride... As it were, I don't like that term, ride out the storm, but we did ride out that diabolical storm that came to take us out. And we're glad you're here tonight. So I tell you, where there is a praise, chains are being broken tonight. I said, well, God bless you, man of God. Bless you on your precious wife, Pastor Castle, Pastor Smiley, Pastor Johnson, and my dear pastor here. God bless you, Pastor Philippi. We have forgotten. Some of you have grown so tall and so rich that we, we hardly can recognize you. But I feel tonight where there is a praise. Chains are being broken. Not that they are going to be broken, but they are being broken. So tell yourself, chains are being broken in my life tonight and where there is a worship walls are coming down come on tell yourself where there's a worship walls are coming down and where there's faith prayers are being answered prayers are being answered tonight and where there is love Hearts are being changed. Hearts are being changed. And where there is a word of God, nothing else matters. Where there is a word of God, nothing else mattered. I had my armor bearer prepare the word before I come. And I was all fired up to preach it. Then when I got here, God changed it. Just like that, I was sitting down there and God changed it. Then I came in tonight and I looked, I picked up, up one of your days worship. And I saw my text right there. So I said, this must be God. This must. All my partners here tonight, God bless you, we love you. And we didn't. I didn't, I, I couldn't publicize it that I was coming. I just left and told those in management, hold the course till I come. Uh, so I, I couldn't tell them. I ju we just left and they didn't see us in church, but they did find yesterday. From the book of Joshua tonight, chapter three. From the book of Joshua, chapter three. And just a couple of verse tonight. And God rose and Joshua rose early. If God going to do something for you, you got to rise up early. Some of your prayer partners are early risers. You rise up early in the morning. And Joshua rose early in the morning. And they removed from Shittim. You got to remove from where you are tonight. And he came to Jordan. That's why we sing yesterday. We're able to go up and take the country. To possess the land from Jordan to the sea. Though giants may be there a way to hinder. God will surely give us victory. They removed from Jordan and lodge. Let me read that again. And he came to Jordan, he and all the children of Israel, and lodged there before they passed over. Verse number two. And it came to pass after three days. 
after three days, Joshua said to the officers that went through the host, and he commanded the people saying, when you see the ark of the covenant of the Lord your God and the priest, you see we preach here, we have a heavy responsibility, and the Levites bearing it, then ye shall removed from your place and go after it. Shall remove from your place and go after God. Verse 4, the last clause. For we have not passed this way hither before. We have not passed. That's what God gave me during COVID. We have not passed this way. We have not passed this way before. We have not passed this way before. So you have to take note of the environment that you're going to enter into and God gave us a prophetic word he said trust me I'm setting you up for a breakthrough like you've never had before I'm setting you up for a breakthrough like you've never had before you are entering the beginning of a fresh season somebody say a fresh season and thirdly is very important he said don't despise the process and don't despise the journey i don't think you're understanding me don't despise a process it's a process i'm taking you through and don't murmur and the length of the journey because i'm setting you up for a breakthrough I'm setting you up for a deliverance. I'm setting you up for a break out, a break forth, and a breakthrough. He said the storms may come, but those storms will develop you to be more like me. Some of you are murmuring about the storms. When you've been through category five before. You have been through category four. And you're worrying about the drizzle. What is happening in your life tonight are drizzles and light rains. And you forget when you were in yonder, when you're in yonder town, God took you through some heavy storm. Come on, somebody. And brought you into the promised land. And some of you are a little bit complacent. Can I preach to you? Do let me preach to you tonight? And prophesy over your life. You're a little bit confined. And complacent. And lackadaisical. That you're in the promised land now. Some of you get used to the grapes and the figs and the olives. And your milk and your honey and your wells. That you, you're relaxing and forgetting. Who brought you here? Come on somebody help me here preacher. Who brought you here? How did you get here? The glory. It was the glory that brought you here. And so I finalize what God said. He said, my hand is upon your life. Somebody lift up your hand to the Lord. My hand is on your life and people will watch from a distance and wonder how you have so much favor on your life. How you have so much favor on your life. They won't understand it. He said, it is my hand that is, has done it for you. No person ever will take credit. I said, no person ever will take credit for what I'm doing in your life. And he said, walk boldly and confidentially into your next season. And he said, no weapon my god that is formed against you shall prosper my father bless these precious moments that we spend together let favor override every doubt 
let your divine favor propel us into our season of destiny and purpose bless this little piece of clay tonight and use me for your glory in Christ's name amen go after it my brothers and sisters allow me just a couple of minutes and I'll turn you loose my God my God I'm in the promised land do I have what I, what I want here you got to come to the Caribbean, the third world, banana republic you call us, and see what we got. Come on, somebody. I tell you some folks are in the land, but they're not utilizing the grapes and the olives and the figs. Musicians, are you leaving me at this time? Good God, go quickly. My brothers and sisters... God lives in glory and splendor. He don't, he don't have to ask for it, cry for it, negotiate for it. He lives in glory and splendor. And anything God has, he wants you as his daughter, as his son to possess the same. She go after it. God does not want us to live on the periphery, on the crumbs, when he has promised you bread, abundance, overflow. Come on, somebody. He, is not, he doesn't want you to live on the periphery, on the crumbs. He wants you to live in splendor and glory. But there's a process. Come on, somebody. You can't sit down with your mouth closed because the glory comes out of your mouth what you don't know that you got glory locked up inside of you but you got to release it so when God wanted glory for mankind he came down from eternity stepped out of eternity into time look and search for a virgin woman never been touched by a man impregnate her by the Holy Ghost come on somebody and put a little bit of himself inside that woman and he said i want you to call him jesus jesus of nazareth i don't god gave me a revelation years ago i just don't call him jesus because if you pick up pick up the phone book of mexico Colombia and Spain you'll see a million Jesus and even in America immigration they deal with a lot of Jesus every day coming from North and South America but there's one Jesus called Jesus of Nazareth and so I call him Jesus Christ of Nazareth and the devil in hell recognize who I'm talking about when you merely call him Jesus, you might be speaking about a Jesus from Colombia, Mexico, or Spain, or Brazil. But when I call him Jesus of Nazareth, the devil knows who I'm talking about. Call his name out of your mouth one more time. My God, give me some little energy up here. And so Jesus came down, stepped out of time into eternity. I got no notes right now. And impregnate the woman called Mary. And raised up a child called Jesus of Nazareth. Come on with me now. And, I, and he dispensed the glory. And I hear Isaiah said, arise and shine. For the glory of the Lord is risen open us lift your hand and said i'm arising and shining for the glory of god is risen upon my life good sit down a minute now every one of us have jordans I don't care how long you've been saved. I don't care how much tongues you got. I don't care how holy you are. You have Jordans to cross. Before you possess what God has in store for you. Now, God said to Joshua, Tell the people, when you see the glory 
of my divine presence so then we talk about mary and so we're going to talk about the ark when god wanted to dwell with his people he he asked them to build something called the ark come on somebody to that would possess his glory that's why the philistines took the ark because they wanted the glory to come over into their territory are you hearing what i'm saying the ark possesses the glory the magnific magnificence the splendor and the shekinah of god let's see in the ark the golden censer in the ark it was overlaid with gold in the ark was a golden pot that had manna come on somebody and then it had aaron's rod that budded and it had the tables of covenant some of you in the sabbath i know even know what you got you don't know even who is among you so god came down in glory and possessed moses and possessed mary defining himself among men then he comes down in the old testament now and he comes down in the form of the ark come on somebody and he said anywhere my glory is i am there and there's nothing no power no power no evil no devil no demon can stand before you when my glory is among you and that's what the preacher said for seven months the ark was in the country of the philistines and for seven years 20 years the ark was over in the country of the enemy and he said when moses when 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 david went to get the ark the first time he couldn't because he wasn't doing it right but when he went back the second time he brought it with singing and shouting and praising so i preach a message why stand he still when the ark has arrived the glory is coming back to his people there's fresh anointing fresh worship fresh revelation fresh inspiration and then there's gonna be a time a time of manifestation everybody say manifestation so at times we preach about god and we talk about god and we testify about his glory but we have not visible seen his glory but there's coming a time called manifestation when god is going to deposit say deposit in your life and in your ministry is glory so the preacher sang the glory of jesus shining brighter and brighter the closer i get is the more that i see the glory of the soon coming king so glory is coming tell yourself glory is coming and god said when you see my glory and there's a priest and the levites come on somebody men of god have to be very careful because you're a carrier of the glory of god say it one more time i'm a carrier of the glory of god the promised land is over yonder it's right up in your face but to get to the promised land you have to cross the jordan so many times there's a jordan in your life and though you're getting close to your deliverance and manifestation there's a jordan in your way but with the glory of god nothing you're impregnable somebody say impregnable you are immovable say immovable you are unstable Say it one more time with, 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 with an attitude. I, I, I feel the Holy Ghost right there. I feel the Holy Ghost right there. You are unstoppable. 
some of you don't get it yet i don't know why you invite me up here if you didn't want me to preach to you you might as well let me say where i was but where i was because i was preaching to nations so i come to new york city and to tell you tonight that you are unstoppable unmovable unshakable irreversible with the glory of god give him a praise somebody So what we need is not more music, not more choir, not more singing. Come on, somebody. Not more fashion. We need the glory in the church. Come on, somebody. I said we need the glory among our people. The glory must be first manifested in the man of God that carries the ark. Come on somebody, I'm teaching you by divine revelation tonight. The man of God in the pulpit and in the pew must first possess the glory. And as the glory run off you down to your beard and down to your skirt, it runs to the people. Come on somebody. Come on, somebody. So the Iceman man must be first partaker of the fruit for the sons of God waited for the manifestation of the Spirit of God. So Joshua said, you preach, sit down a while because I'm teaching you right now. You priest of God that carries a hawk of the divine Shekinah covenant step before the people and tell them to follow but there must be a space between you and God come on somebody come on somebody somebody leave a space God wants to work God's want, God wants to break out break through and break forth in your life but there must be a space between you and God give God some room to work give God some space to work come on somebody so your worship and your praise is that space between you and God so when the praises go up the blessings come down come on somebody so give God a space to work in your life and God wants to work in the church but we have not yet in, she tapped in to the glory we must tap in to the Shekinah we must tap in to the glory and to the manifestation that's why when Uzzah touched the ark he was instantly killed you're not preaching with me as a preacher said, I'm running before you. I'm running ahead of you. Try to catch up with me. I'm not waiting for you. When Uzzah tried to steady God, Uzzah did not realize there was a space, preacher, between him and the glory. He tried, he, he tried, he tried to steady God. How many are trying to steady the church? So when God needed glory, he organized something called Pentecost. Come on, follow me carefully. Follow me carefully. I said when God need to needed to manifest his glory, he came down into a virgin woman. And when God wanted to manifest his glory, he told Moses and Joshua, build an ark and let the priests and the Levites sanctify themselves and anywhere you go you don't know your praise open doors you can't open you don't know your worship open doors that you can't worry you've never opened before he said anywhere you go and my glory is manifested it got to open she don't know why God ain't short and nothing woman. And God can do without you. He said, I'll kill Uzzah. You're trying to steady me. 
there's a lot of preacher trying to steady God and run in church according to their potential and run in church according to their ability and run in church educationally and academically and monetarily this church of God is not run academically or monetary it's run by glory come up come on It's run, shit on the wall, by glory. That's why we're having so much hell in the church. That's why church of God some day so fragmented and so fragmented. Full, full, full. Let me hold my peace. Because there's no glory. Man running the church. Oza running God. Oza touching God. How's a steady in God? And when you start to touch God and steady Him, He'll kill you. We humble ourselves and we kneel before Him and say, Have your own way, God. But you never steady God. You can't reach a promised land without following protocol, Holy Ghost protocol. He said, When you see the priest, and the Levites bearing the glory of God come out of your place and go after it. That's what happening to the church in New York City. We have so much money and jobs and potential that we don't want God. That's why there's a difference between us in, in, the, in the other country than here. Because uh, our food is God. Our, uh, our clothes is God. Uh, our bills are God and everything. We have to depend on God. Depend on God. And if we're going to move, we have to move on God. Here you got everything. So, so the preacher, don't tell me anything. Because you got everything. I got food. I got money. I got car, and if I don't have my house, I have a rent house, and I got a lease, and I got my degree, and I have my BB and THD and DD and dumb dog, everything you got. Come on, somebody. So the church in America got everything but not the glory. Come on, somebody. We got everything but not the glory. So I hear the Lord saying, bring, 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 bring back the glory. Bring back the glory. God said, you remember you when you was in the other country? Every night you pray. Every day you pray. You fast because you wanted the glory. Now you're in the promised land. You don't need the glory anymore. But he said to Joshua, there's yet more lands to be possessed. You're in the promised land, but there's yet more lands to be possessed. More devils to kill. Come on, somebody. More territory to take. I know you're not going to like me after tonight, but I don't care. There's three television stations that carries me across the country of Jamaica. And two radio stations. I wish it was more. And OJ Smiley has his program. And they take us. YouTube take me. And oh God Almighty. And Facebook take carries me. Somebody help me here. Come on somebody. Give in the wind a mighty voice. Lifting up a mighty praise. Oh the glory of Jesus. Shining brighter. And brighter. So we're holding our own. Preacher, we're coming into divine glory. End time apostolic Jesus name glory. That's going to shake and impact the world. Come on somebody. I said this glory is going to shake and impact the world. Bringing back Jesus to this nation. If you ever see what I see and know what I know, you would worship. From the outside, we look into America and we pray and holler and beg God, help America. Keep your hand on America. 
keep your hand upon us uh, lest we die keep me Jesus uh, as the apple of your eyes somebody lift up and worship and God said go ahead son a country divided cannot stand a nation in turmoil and confusion cannot stand a church divided in confusion and division and chaos and man-made worship a church divided in mediocrity lukewarmness and coldness cannot stand because i'm a god of splendor i'm a god of glory i'm a god of magnificence so let freedom ring let 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 the glory of god let the presence of god let the shekinah of god somebody say shekinah manifest manifest in my own life she don't know why closing and joshua said go after it proceed after the glory are you hearing me proceed church after the glory pursue the glory seek after the glory chase 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 after god chase after the glory and follow the glory proceed pursue seek chase follow hunt search forge ahead drive forward I hear the Holy Ghost saying there's no Jordan there's no Jericho there's no hay hide there's no economic crisis there's no power no diabolical force can stop you when my glory is upon you for my glory will override every other glory I said my glory will override every other glory so say to your Jordan roll back coagulate coagulate roll back say to your Jordan I'm coming through I'm coming good God I want to feel the Holy Ghost you can't tie me up tonight because the glory say roll back roll back financial crisis roll back economic crisis roll back crisis on my job crisis in my marriage crisis in the church crisis in my family roll back roll back the ark the ark is coming the glory the glory is coming the fire the shekinah the splendor is coming back to his church coming back to his church coming back to his people coming back to his anointed come on give him glory so john said closing i wish i had time to preach in revelation 4 11 thou art worthy O lord to receive glory and honor and power for thou hast created all things and for thy pleasure they are created thou art worthy oh lord second first chronicles 16 24 declare his glory i come to new york tonight tonight new york new york to declare his glory among the heathen his marvelous works among all nations 
good God you don't hear what I called declare his glory to America God gave you opportunity not just to come to America and not just to get a job and a better place to live and for a better environment but he's saying to you tonight first chronicle 16 24 when you come to America when you come to New York declare his glory among the heathen the heathen out of Egypt the heathen out of South America the heathen from Saudi Arabia Kuwait India Pakistan oh declare declare his glory among the heathen declare his glory among the heathen brother Philippi his marvelous works among all the nations go ahead and worship women in first chronicles 16 25 for great is the lord and greatly to be praised your soul is to be feared he also is to be feared above above all gods sister you don't get it yet you don't get it yet i told the folks back home you have a long time to sleep you already put you on your back and fix you up real good and you'll sleep for a thousand years you want to sit down god will make you sit down with arthritis and chronic bronchitis for a long time come on somebody you can't do battle sitting down you can't take jericho sitting down the church is creeping and hollering when we should be marching with a high praise come on somebody Jericho must be taken Jordan must be taken every diabolical set up and every obstacle every obstacle in your life must be removed by the glory of God glory is his favor house of favor house of glory house of revelation house of inspiration not the church you and you and me come on somebody god long to display his glory in your life come on somebody we're not mean weak paraplegic amen we were built to last and built to stand built to overcome built to overtake come on somebody Filled with an enduring power, an enduring force, and an enduring energy. I wish I had something to preach here. I wish I had something to preach here tonight. Go after the glory through praise and worship your miracle is in your mouth your breakthrough is in your mouth and you don't know it come on somebody your finance like the preacher said is in your mouth come on somebody there's a kind of shout god puts in your belly and when you start to shout glory somebody just shout glory somebody shout glory i dare you 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 shout glory shout glory shout the glory the glory the glory is coming back coming back coming back coming back to Israel I'm seeing something in the spirit I'm seeing something back in the spirit I'm seeing something in the spirit brother OJ and that's when the glory was coming back to Israel David's wife Micaiah disdain David and say you're acting like a little boy come on somebody some of you in the church when God start to move you become critical of the glory you start to analyze the glory come on somebody 
and question God but God said no man question me I am God and when my glory is ready to fall the priests and the Levites could not stand and they stretch themselves out in the presence of God because the glory had filled the house I said glory filled the house and the priests and the Levites couldn't stand couldn't stand because glory oh I said glory Lord Lord send forth your glory send forth your anointing send forth your revelation send forth your mystery come on church wake up wake up wake up wake up tonight i'm on one night one night only shouting and rejoicing and dancing and praising and the ark came back to zion with shouting dancing and rejoicing some of you are critical of the glory tonight but the ark is coming back to church of god i said the ark is coming back to zion i said the glory is coming back to his people you're going to shout again you're going to praise again you're going to rejoice again you're going to give honor again come up come up come up come up come up new york come up come up new york come up new york come up john come up let me show you my glory let me show you my glory and God gonna shut up some room and take away some anointing because you're too critical they don't know it's God coming home and I hear the psalm said it's time to favor Zion somebody preacher help me here brother John say help me here yay the set time the set time the set time has come to favor Zion, Zion, Zion is going to wake up one more time. Come up, come up, come up. Come up, come up, New York. Come up, New York, come up. Woman of God, come up. Man of God, come up. Give unto the Lord the glory that is due unto his name. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Psalm 29, 3, the voice of the Lord is upon the waters. The glory, the God of glory, the God of glory, thunder it, thunder it. The God of glory, thunder it. The Lord is upon many waters. Psalm 86, 12, I will praise thee, O Lord. I will praise thee, O Lord, my God, with all my heart and with all my heart. And I will make glorify thy name forevermore. Glory is coming back to Zion. I prophesy. I say, pro I prophesy. Now unto him that is able to keep us from falling. And to present us faultless before his presence in glory, in glory, with exceeding the joy. To the only wise God, our Savior. To him be glory, majesty, dominion, and power, both now and forever.
Exodus 33, 18, he said, I beseech thee, show me thy glory. Come on, I'm going to stop here. Everybody say, Lord, show me your glory. It may not be tonight or tomorrow night, but I prophesy New York, New York, Queens, New York, that God is going to show somebody here his magnificent, stupendous glory. And you're going to be lost. You're going to be amazed. You're going to wonder how great is our God. How great is his name. Say, Lord, show me, show me your glory. Show me your glory. And the Lord passed before him. Now I proclaim the name of the Lord before you. God's gracious, merciful, to whom I will show mercy. So David, Moses, a great leader, ambassador, commander, chief. He said, Lord, I can't go. Not one more day till you show me your glory. I'm having church, but I don't see no glory. I'm having Sabbath school, but I don't see no glory. I'm having Sunday school, but I don't see no glory. I'm well dressed up and I'm well looking good, but I don't see no glory. Music playing, but I can't feel your glory. Church worshiping, but I can't feel your glory. Preacher preaching, but I can't feel your glory. So Mo Moses said, Lord, I'm not going nowhere. If your presence, if your anointing, I'm stopping right here. If your anointing, if your glory, go not with me. I will not go. Open your mouth and tell God. I've been in church a long time. But if your glory, go not with me. I will not go another night. Say Lord. Say Lord. If your presence, go not with me. Back to my apartment. Back to my home. Back to my marriage. Back to my situation. I'm not going. Open up your mouth. Lift up your hand. And say like Moses. Lord. Lord. Say Lord. Say Lord. Say Lord. Show me. Some of you don't do nothing yet. But I'm gone down the road. I'm not here tomorrow night. I'm not here next week. Just one night, one night. Lord, been in church for 24 years, 15, 25, but there's no glory. I'm going through the periphery. I'm going through the action without an apostolic reaction. I'm just going because I, I was meditating. Why you come to church? Why are you here tonight? Why are you here tonight this hour? Why did you come God appointed you. God destined you. God ordained you. God propel you. God call you. God move you. Give up your hand. I'm closing. Got to send you home. Got to send you home tonight. Keep playing, sir. Show me your glory. And God said, I'll hide you. I'll, I'll put you in the cliff of the rock. And I'll pass by. In the hall of the glory of God. Pass it by me. Some of us in church, including myself, 
preaching for years, worshiping for years, and never worshiping glory. Tell me the date and the time when glory come down in your assembly. Tell me the date and the time when the man of God preaching glory. Tell me the date and the time when you see glory in the house of the living God. Yes, church was good tonight. We had a good time. Good, better, best. How was church tonight? Good. How is the preaching? Good. I said, that's all you got? Good. There's no superlative. There's no better. There's no best. Just good. Why well, you get quiet on me? I'm talking where you talk. Church was good today. Choir sound good today. Preacher preach good today. Say good. When people preach, tell me I preach good. I feel like a dumb dog. Because you're not preaching yet. They cut through your bones like a razor. And tears flood down your face. And you couldn't stand up. Then I'm preaching. And when Sister Jackie always called me. She don't, he don't call me. Pastor Cooper, he called me Jeremiah from she was small and she texted me this week said brother Jeremiah I feel like fire shut up Whoa, yeah. fire 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 shut up in my belly shut up in my bones Lord send your fire Send your fire. Gotta quit. Gotta quit. Gotta quit tonight. Some of you not breathing right. Your blood pressure gone up. Your sugar level gone up. Operation is too strong. Anesthesia is too strong tonight. Come on, somebody. We have to reinject you to wake you up out of your sleep. That anesthesia is taking you too deep into your sleep. And they give you another injection to reverse the first injection. Because I'm not God. I'm not going to be in a church for a church sake. I refuse to go to church just for going sake. I refuse to preach without the fire. Come on somebody. I refuse to sing without the fire. I refuse to worship without the fire. Come on, somebody. Lift up your hand. We're closing. We're closing. We're closing. Lord, send the fire. Send the fire. Say, Lord, wake me up. 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 I'm sleeping. Since I come to New York, I'm sleeping. Since I come to Queens, I'm sleeping. Since I come to the Bronx, I'm sleeping. Since I come to Brooklyn, I'm sleeping. Lord, wake me, wake me, wake me. Wake me out of my lethargy. Wake me out of my sleep. Lord, send the glory. Come on, come on, come on. We're worshiping. I'm opening up the altar. I'm opening up the altar. I'm leaving the altar open for people who want more of God. I'm leaving the altar open for people who need more of God, more of the anointing. I'm opening up the altar as we go. I'm praying quickly tonight. Quickly, quickly, quickly. I'm praying quickly tonight. Quickly, quickly for people who's after the glory. Walk fast, walk fast. And with your hands lifted tonight, with your hands lifted. Oh God, oh God. Open up your mouth, open up your mouth. Open, open, pastor. Open, open, open. Come, come, stand with me. Open up your mouth with your hands lifted tonight. Get rid of flesh, flesh. Get rid of your flesh, flesh. God is a spirit and they that worship him must worship in spirit. God don't want no flesh. Thank you, sir. Go ahead, sir. Go ahead. Go ahead. I feel the Holy Ghost. I feel an anointing. I feel the Holy Ghost tonight. I feel the Holy Ghost tonight. I feel my help, my help, my help. I feel my help coming, coming. I feel my help coming tonight. Go ahead, go ahead and pray. Go ahead. 
Come on, come up, come up. My God, the microphone getting. Lady, give me some sound. Lady, give me a little sound. Give me more, a little more punch, a little more power. I feel the glory, the glory, the glory. I feel the glory, the glory. I feel the glory. Go up to it, go up to it, go up to it. Go up to God, go up to God. Go up to the anointing, go up to the worship, go up to God. Go up to God, go up to God. Go up to God. Jordan got to move. Jordan got to release. Jordan have to move. Out of your way, out of your way. I see the promised land in view, the promised land. I see the promised land. Come up here, ministers, all my ministers. Come with me tonight on the pulpit. The priests that bear the ark of God. Go before the people, the priests and the Levites that bear the ark of God. Go before the people. Come up, come up, come up, come up. Come up. Come up church of the living God. Come up to worship. Come up. Let the priests and the Levites that be the ark of God go before. Go before us Lord. Go before us Lord. Go before New York. Go before New York. Go before the church. Jesus. 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 Come up church of the living God. We need a revival. A revival, a revival, a revival. New York, New York, New York. Jesus, 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 Jesus. We miss the glory, we miss the glory. We miss the glory, we miss the glory. We miss the glory. Father, we pray to my God. Have your way, have your way, have your way, have your way. We pray tonight, God, by your power, by your spirit tonight, God. We pray you move in this atmosphere. We pray that yokes will be broken. We pray that barrier will remove. We pray now by your might, by your power, by your spirit. We pray now, let your power flow, flow in the atmosphere. Break God, break God, break, break, break. Break by your power, break, break, break by your spirit, spirit of the living God. We pray now, rearrange, realign right now in the name, in the name, in the name of Jesus. We pray now, release, release your power, release your power, fresh fire, fire. Fire of the Holy Ghost, have your way, have your way, Lord. I'm wrestling like Jacob, 
I won't go until you bless me. Open your mouth. Say, Lord, right now, right now, I need you in my spirit. I need you in my life. I surrender. I surrender my will. I surrender my way. I surrender. Say, Lord, say, Lord, I'm crying out. Take me back. Take me back to the place where I first believe. Lord, take me back to the old time altar spirit. Spirit of the living God, fall afresh, fall afresh, fall afresh. Let your power, let your power, let your power, let go, stronghold, let go, barrier, let go. Every plan from hell that tie me up, say, Loose me, loose God. I've been bound for a while, but by your power, by your power, by your power, break, 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 change, break, barrier, move now. Somebody said now, said now, said change in my life, be broken, be broken, said now, said now, disappointment, said go, said go, said go, said go, son of man, prophesy, prophesy, can they bones, can they live, your mind said live said live so I shall not die said live said live you shall live you shall live you shall live by the power of the Holy Ghost said Lord turn it turn it turn it turn it turn it turn, it. turn, it. turn your fire Turn your glory, turn it, turn it, turn it, do it God, do it God, for your glory, do it God, for your honor, do it God, for your praise, turn it, turn it, fire, send your fire, fire, send your fire, Lord, it's me. For a long time, I've felt your presence. Pour it out, pour it out, pour it out, pour it out, pour it out. Fire, fire. Said Lord, Lord, I need you now. Yes, I call the boss. Hello, hello. Oh, 